Okay, greeting guys. Welcome back to another episode on your Dr. DIY's channel. Today, we are going to show you the way how you are going to service your brake pads for a Mazda CX-5 2.0 year 2013 model. So, we are going to now remove this tire, the front right hand side tire okay so first thing first is you gotta jack up your car until the tire is not touching the ground and then you just remove the screws the five wheel screws so gently get the tire out so when the tire is out so we are looking now at the caliper Okay, so this is the caliper and this is the brake pads. These are the brake pads. So what we are going to do, we're going to remove them. We're going to remove this caliper by opening up a size 17 screw up one and down one. Okay, we open up these two and this thing will come up. Right? So before you can open up this, you must make sure the piston is inside so how to get the piston inside you got to put in a screwdriver a flat head screwdriver and you got to press which i will show you now you just put in and you gently just press it okay so when you see there is a free play then you are good to open right and make sure when you do that when you are putting in the piston if your oil level is high your brake fluid is high it will go out so make sure you monitor this in this case it's already low so we are good to go so now we can open up the two screws okay slight correction the size of the screw is size 14 eh? up and down okay so we are going to remove two size 14 okay so once we take out the size 14 up and down this thing will easily come out so you can see all right this is the piston by the way the car now is at 145,000 kilometers so this is a normal wear and tear routine of servicing the brake pads so these are the brake pads okay so the brake pads are still good Okay, you can see it's still thick. They are still thick. However, we are going to grind them at the side here so that there is a chamfer such as looks like in this. Okay, we're going to make it chamfer all the edges. Why? Because this is where the stress concentration happens when you apply the brake. Hence, you will have a squeaking sound when you brake. Okay, like like this so you want to remove that sound you need to make a nice chamfer at the side here okay we will show you how to do that so we are going to wash everything first uh, with uh, with a detergent okay so we open up all this we take out the other brake pad at inside this is the inside one after that we are taking out the, the steel bush the up okay and the down so these are the two steel bush and then we are going to take out the top and the bottom sleeve they call it a sleeve okay by right it should have a free play so we are still going to take it out and we are going to wash it and then we are going to put a new grease okay so when you take out there is a uh, rubber slowly just pull out the rubber okay not to tear it so you can see it's still nice and clean so we are going to take out the rubber okay there's also a rubber here 
Bear in mind, uh, the rubber don't soak in the detergent for very long as it will have the tendency to expand. And the same thing for the top. This is the top. Okay. Okay, so we are going to make a chamfer. We are going to use a grinder. Okay, with an abrasive grinding wheel. So, this is how we do it. can see it's nicely rounded at the side okay this will eliminate any squeaking sound when you break compared to the before you make the chamfer so you can see the difference right so we are going to wash the brake pad make sure the debris in this line is all clean you can see that the debris are all is all stuck in the line right uh, this will have the squeaking sound when you break okay so all is soaked in uh, petrol so we are going to wash it. The parts after cleaning with detergent. Uh, this is the brake pad. It's already been washed, so now we are going to put back the rubber parts inside. So this is the bushing inside. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna use a special grease. Huh? This grease is a brake caliper grease. Okay. So this is a special grease for brake caliper servicing. So we just take out a bit. Put it at the sleeve. And we put in the bush. Okay, so once you put it in, then you may put in the first rubber bush. open up and you put in the grease in such that it looks like this then you may just coat the whole sleeve with the grease and you just give a free play so that the grease sits inside so this is done we do it for the next one Then we take the grease a bit, we put it inside here. We put back the bushing, the steel bushing.
Okay, so now we are going to do a bleeding. Okay, so in order to do a bleeding, we need one person in the car to pump the brake. To pump the brake, and when I say press, then we loosen up this bleeding nut of size 10, and the brake fluid will come out. So that is the whole intention. Okay, okay. Pump. Press. So you can see the brake fluid coming out. Pump. 